This is Kobe. He's a five and a half year old neutered male Shih Tzu. He's got a very sore left eye. You can also see some green lacrimal discharge there. The cornea is blue due to edema and the sclera is injected looking very red and hyperemic. Kobe has a very large and deep corneal ulcer. It's going to require surgery. So we have Kobe anesthetized and here I am looking through our surgical microscope preparing to do a conjunctival flap. First we need to harvest a very very thin layer of conjunctiva that's adjacent to the defect in the cornea. Once we've harvested this very thin layer of conjunctiva, we're going to drag the graft over the corneal defect. The suture material we use for this has a needle that is made just for suturing the cornea of the eye. Now I am debriding the ulcer with a very small and sharp scalpel blade. And now I am suturing the conjunctival flap onto the cornea, covering the defect. The cornea of the eye is one of the few tissues in the body that does not have blood vessels, so there is no source of building blocks to repair a corneal ulcer like that. In order for this to heal, blood vessels have to grow out onto the surface of the cornea. This piece of conjunctiva is a vessel-rich surface. That's why we leave it connected so that the blood will flow into this peninsula, bringing building blocks to repair this corneal defect. Then, in order to protect the repair, we put one suture into the eyelids, keeping them closed. This is called a tarsorophy. Here's our patient a few weeks later. You can see the conjunctival flap over the corneal defect and no green lacrimal discharge. Once the flap is in place, it really cuts down on the pain and infection. And here's our patient approximately six months later, having made a full recovery, just came in to be groomed today. You can see the blood vessels on the surface of the cornea. The eye is sighted and pain-free. Our patient is very happy, as if nothing had ever happened.